this is a song that I wrote in the Choctaw language a couple years ago. My family had um, sort of been on this land in southeastern Oklahoma near a town called Clayton for generations. I was thinking fondly upon that land, which we don't, we don't have anymore. It's actually it's a weed farm now. <laughs> Uh, we don't own it, but <laughs> man, weed has gotten so strong. It's crazy. <laughs> when I was in high school, like someone would give you weed, and it would be like, "Oh, the stars look so nice, and I'm gonna sleep so well tonight." And now I just feel like it's someone gives you weed, and it's like, I should forgive my father. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's, it's just so intense it's like anyways uh this song is um it's uh, yeah it's about the the land that my my family's from You talk, leave me oxygen to come. If only I walk, leave hope. I be a chicky Oh, Chloe, my mama, ma. Now we can't leave me try it, me try Hope show me to my heart to talk, leave me oxy to come. Okay, Lupachke Yakni Natana, even Chifo Shokla, Ili Lyo Chonly took. Happy. Shot chin talk, Ili Happy Fiobia, Shoti Chin Tokla, Ili Laya Choni Tu. Oh, Chloe, my mama, ma. Oh, Chloe, my mama, ma. To my heart, you talk, leave me oxy to come. If only I owe clear hope, I'll be a chicky. I'll do uh, I'll do a song in my native language as well. Kaylin and I got a very fantastic opportunity to be a part of a Cherokee language revitalization album. Um, the Cherokee language is definitely um, a dying language, but hopefully, after being able to uh, share our language with with others, it will be more of a <sighs> revitalized language. Um, so this song is called Gray Skies or Galalot. Uh, we worked with translators to kind of um, help us with phrasing and everything because obviously it's kind of 
translating a song that's that's already finished in English is kind of same with any language a little bit difficult um, going into a different language. Um, and I figured out that I'm cousins with my translator. <laughs> um, I, I had no idea we were kind of talking about, about life, and I was like, oh my gosh, me too. And she was like, yeah, it's my, my daughter does that as well. And I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. I have another cousin that does that. <laughs> I actually wrote this, this song originally in English a very, very long time ago. I think I was um, 13, and I was just kind of uh, discovering my heritage and, and all, all that. Um, like I said, I, I don't have a great relationship with my mother, so it was kind of uh, stepping stones to get here. So I'm very thankful to be here with you guys. So thank you for, for listening to us and supporting Native American women. Galalad G squat a ganala we dene Ganula hinoski iski go te di jadata Tlaya ne laki Jiskia kia, jiskiu isto aya. Aqua tuli, johi do di, nada kala galu deli, tles di jatlila. Jato di dejicano, actis cause ige deja se hi hanuxtrosa. So I grew up around Cherokee in my household with my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. My dad's the youngest of 10 kids, and he's the only one in the family who didn't learn it. Um, and so I've been in this like weird space where I'm trying to learn it, but I don't know much, and I trip over words, and you know, it's good to like fail openly. <laughs> but I have my lyrics out so I can like reference it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Jura da la chisqua Gala la di ditskila Eluusa hon hit look Eluus yis gano yis a delta Eluus yis gano yis a delta
Chago hai iskala ladi Chano ida hi sama kohi Doha usna da asanasti Telaya usa asaniha Telaya usa asaniha Jura da la chisqua Elue i iusti no gisco Gusti stagana skino hisi Doya aya at the dust O rasa no adan test Jura da la chisqua I ask no I want a sti Eluz hikti Eluz his kano his delda Skino his chata nasi Nagwana gisa Jura da la chisqua I ask no I want a sti Elusis can know his delta Jura da la chisqua I ask no I want a sti Elusis can know his delta Elusis can know his delta Thank you. I wrote this song about I, about 10 years ago when um, I was passing through a town called Elk City. And um, there was a woman that I met out there who had come to the town uh, during the oil boom during the late 70s. And... Um, with some friends that were looking for jobs. And she had just had like a just really rough life. And um, she was kind of just telling me the whole, the whole shebang. And um, I got back in my car and I started driving and I couldn't get her story out of my head. And I ended up putting this woman's, uh, this woman's story into this song. Get me out of this town Get me out of this dream Been drinking away all my money. See, I was 17 when I came to this place. In a boyfriend's co wagon on the 40 interstate. He told me we'd be rich, get on at the GHK company. At the Anadarko Basin's where you want it to be We pitched a tent in the park It's all we could do Were no rooms anywhere I hope that job would come through He said just one more night Can you give it one more night He 
got out of that town when the boom turned to bust. Didn't say where he went, never told any of us. And I almost moved to Dallas with my best friend Kathleen. But I met a guy at the Longhorn, he said he could fix my washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> As tomorrow night, yeah, tomorrow Well, that night turned into nine months sitting on my ass. I was waiting on a baby, my first and my last. And she's all grown up now, got into college and everything. So she beat her mom out of that town, out of Elk City. I can only do one more night Just one more I can only stand one more night Just one more night I can only take one more night Just one, just one more night Um the song uh, I wrote pretty recently. Um, I'm gonna turn 21 in September, and I was doing a music video for someone, and we were kind of like playing the song, whatever. It's like a duet thing, and I met this girl at the bar that we were um, shooting at, and you know, like when you meet people and you just really don't want to talk to them, like not even any reason why, just like literally, I just don't want to talk to you right now. It was like that, but she literally wouldn't shut up. And it was it was like I was trying to be so nice. And then I, I wasn't nice, and I felt bad about it. <laughs> um, but then she was like talking to me about astrology and all that kind of thing. And I was like, <sighs> any other day I would care. <laughs> like, any other day. Anyways, this is called cicadas. <laughs> September's closing in, I know I met someone I didn't want to talk to She said my Saturn was on What a liar I'm a liar I know there's something wrong with me Can ever fully fall asleep Cicadas crying out to me Winners come and take cover immediately.
I put salt in my wounds just to prove I can do it. Pretend it's not burning. You say I'm concerning you. The way I'm never learning. I know there's something wrong with me. Can never fully fall asleep. Cicadas crying out to me. Cicadas crying out to me. Winners come and take cover immediately. I found the needle through my heart in a haystack. I stop breathing when I get nervous. I'm always nervous. Cause you make me nervous. Cicadas crying out to me. 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 Cicadas. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Oh my God. Uh, after I moved to Arkansas for about five years, um, I wrote this song because I was really missing my family and I was really missing like the land that I grew up on and missing like this just really deep understanding that comes from like Oklahomans in a way in relation to like native peoples that just isn't there because there's no uh there's no federally recognized tribes in arkansas which is just wild to me because it's such this like this place in which we all pass through and um you know the osage live there as well so this song's called wind song that was really long winded um but here it is <laughs> Windows open cause it's getting warmer Can't afford to turn the AC on Doesn't matter much, wouldn't change nothing I prefer the sound of an old wind song
Well, it's been a long week. I just wanna kick back. Head to the bar with a few new friends. But I overheard a drunk man in a suit saying, It's hard to find the time to make amends. I prefer the sound of an old wind song. I prefer the sound of an old wind song. Thank you. Albert-Williams. I am uh, the founder and executive director of Burning Cedar Sovereign Wellness. Um, we're a nonprofit organization based here in Tulsa, and our mission is to bring healing and community building to the Native community through indigenous foods. So we've been tasting some indigenous foods tonight. I'm really proud to know all of these amazing women. <laughs> <laughs> just so proud of everything that they've done in their careers and representing Native women and using their language in their songs and yeah. amplifying those voices. So it's a really important thing. I'm really proud of you ladies.